Ends and uh, an interesting side. Yeah, it is. If we go through the uh, the Blacktown lineup, Ivan Nasevsky in goal, Paul Carbon, Bobby Dragos, Damian Fox, Mirko Jarils, Luke Rudenberg, Kane Rastal, Michael Brown, Milorad Simonovic, Ivan Zelic and Tolgay Osbay, a very solid looking side. And of course, uh, John Paul de Marini will have uh, certainly uh, numbered that uh, 19 and he'll have put a big mark over that because he of That's course right. is a goal scorer. Here's the Sydney United side. They start with Matthew Cox in goal. Milan Bosna will play as I suppose a right wing back and then there's Joe Virich, uh, Ante Jurek in the middle of the uh, ground, a big strong central defender, Todd Brody, Peter Markovic, Ben Vidajic in the uh, middle of the ground again, Luke Galvez playing some very good football at the moment and then Lisandro Derbis will help him out and then Matty Thompson. Well, Matty Thompson I think has a, a passport to go anywhere he likes and uh, Milan Vedek, uh, the other player that will uh, be supporting up front. Nisevsky is he wears all blue today. Ball headed on. Right back there is uh, Ooh, Ante Juric and uh, he's able to call on the rescue of his uh, goalkeeper. And Cox rescues the situation. Can uh, Sydney United keep it in? They can. Nice ball. Push forward. Here is uh, Yedanak. Good ball inside and there's a chance. The goalkeeper's out of position. They have a chance. Oh, touch the ball and it's gone through. That was clever piece of play on this side of the ground. And uh, instead of taking the shot for the uh, goal, he actually pulled the ball back, saw the man free on the far side. And uh, Sydney United have taken the lead. Fantastic run in behind by young Ben Vidaic, who got round the keeper and put a perfect cross into the far post for the goal. But the run actually made the goal. He got in between two defenders, beat the offside trap. His first touch took him round the keeper, and it was a cross of sheer quality. I would say that uh, Ivan, uh, I, I take uh, Gensch, would be asking the goalkeeper, Nisevsky, what he was doing. Great ball uh, knocked in there, first of all, by uh, Jednak. And then uh, when the, the uh, ball went to Galavis, instead of going for the goal, he was able to knock it right across the, uh, the penalty area. And uh, once, uh, as you can see here on the slow-mo fill, once he got past the keeper, he did look up and uh, racing in on the far side was uh, Barbas. And uh, Barbas, I think, was it Barbas? Uh, Galvez got his head to it, I think. Yeah. Uh, long ball. And Juric. But uh, Brown is over there, hooks it in midfield, headed back. There's a chance because uh, Sydney United have a couple of men forward. Long ball hit down onto the uh, corner flag. Can they get it across? Markovic puts it across. Oh, great goal! Fantastic goal, great cross from Markovic and Luke Galvez went in there and hit it as it dropped and it's got it and Sydney United have scored a second goal. And it's just all too easy for Sydney United to get around the back of the Blacktown defence at the moment and again it's the quality of the service from the wide areas but the run from Glavash, he took a defender away and then made a beeline for that near post and the finish, well the finish was immaculate. Great, uh, great cross from the uh, far side uh, from uh, Markovic, got down behind him and, and he, you knew exactly where it was going actually, Phil, before it arrived. Yes, that's right. It's, uh, look, that, that's a shooting and crossing drill from training. You do that week in, week out, where you get the ball wide, you practice where you're going to cross the ball, you practice your runs, and John Paul de Marini will be absolutely delighted with the start. Of it. It's going to be uh, anti Juric going to take it, chip it into the penalty area again. And that time it was Damien Fox got his head foot put back in by uh, Berbis into the uh, penalty area, headed away by Dragas, put back in again. And here's a chance for the little man again. Shots, great save by the goalkeeper. It was swinging and dipping away because we were right behind it. Great shot by uh, Galvash again. Yeah, he's causing them all sorts of problems, isn't he? And again, the ball bounced up and it had time to come down for him to get a volley on. I mean, that's that's poor defending. You have to be desperate in there. You have to close the ball at all costs. But actually, when you look at it, um, I think Janicevsky brought off a very good save because the ball was actually dipping and swinging away from him. Yeah, fantastic save to keep his team in the match, we hope. Here's the uh, corner kick. Boxed away and uh, put forward again. Here he is, ready to take it. Lovely skill, pulled it down. Good vision as well. Got her in behind the defenders. Oh, is that a penalty? Yes, it. it is. Simon Prestige had no hesitation whatsoever and has awarded a penalty to uh, Sydney United. And the uh, player that was there was Mitchell Thompson. Mitchell Thompson racing onto the edge of the penalty area. Over went the defender, Marco Jurlic. And Jurlic got in a tackle. Unfortunately, he was able to take Thompson's leg, not the ball. And it's going to be a penalty. And again, it is this 20-year-old. I love his approach to the game. 
Luke Galvash is going to take it. Yusevsky out of his goal area. And the referee, Simon Tresdek, telling the ball to get outside the area. Can he make it? This could be the killer goal for uh, the Blacktown City Demons. They trail 2 0 down. And uh, at the moment, there's going to be a substitution made. And uh, the substitution is uh, going to be made. Has a few things to say to the referee. The ball is actually rolling off the spot. Galvash against Nisevsky in the goal. Waiting for the referee. Here it is. Shoots. Ah, he's tucked it away inside that post. Unfortunately for the uh, Sydney United uh, supporters behind it, they've all raced down to congratulate the young man. But the Blacktown City goalkeeper, Nisevsky, went the right way, Phil, but uh, great penalty take. It was. It's hit the inside of the post and, uh, and found the side netting, which is uh, unstoppable from a goalkeeper's point of view. But what a moment for young Glover. She's just scored a hat trick in a grand final right in front of his own supporters and run to celebrate with them. It doesn't get any better than that. No, good kick right just as you said inside that upright. Let's take a look at it again. Keeper goes the right way but just unfortunately the shot too good. Yeah, it'll be a topic of conversation tonight of the uh, post-season beers I think. He certainly will. There they go again United cutting up the middle of the ground. Good ball, put forward again, but this time the uh, goalkeeper came out and ricochets and it's going to go back into the goal and he's back there. Oh, the uh, goalkeeper got to it. But, uh, and what has the Simon Prestige has said, it's going to be, he nearly got a fourth goal, look at him. It's a fantastic recovery from Ivan Nisevsky because he was well out of that race yep. and he's made up a lot of ground as we watch the replay here. He certainly wasn't favourite to win it, but he's got back, and if he hasn't got a hand to it, he's at least put enough pressure on Glavash to miss the uh, to miss the target. Exactly. Meanwhile, pull the hand that I've been pressed with this uh, young man, Matty Cox. As I mentioned earlier on, Australia is always seen to be well served by good goalkeeping. Here's a chance, and he's got in behind him again. Glavash, uh, oh, what a cracking goal, Glavash. <laughs> he got with his right foot. This young man can't do anything wrong. Yusevsky is appealing and saying he was offside. The offside flag stayed down. Like he could have gone on another pace or two, couldn't he? But instead, now nah, he puts it on the right foot and hammers it into the far corner. I'd like to see the replay with the offside, but uh, my goodness gracious me, what an audacious finish. I mean, that is pure class. It's pure confidence from a kid who you'd never heard his name before this season. No. He's now got four goals in the New South Wales Vodafone Premier League Grand Final. Oh, what a dream for the young man. There he is, and he's pretty happy about the whole thing, but I think he's hungry. He wants another one. Just uh, there he is. Look, he outpaced the defender, got behind him, and bang. Well, I've been oh. staying up all night to see strikes like that over the last month. It's good to see one in daylight. Exactly. <laughs> We saw a few, one or two in the World Cup, but maybe not as good as that from a 20. Also, uh, who the man of the match would be because there's been exactly some real there it is. Our referee Simon Presdich uh, blows the whistle. The 90 minutes are over, and it's Sydney United who have taken out the grand final in the New South Wales Soccer Grand Final Gala Day here at Marconi Stadium. They've done it by four goals to nil against Blacktown City Demons and you can see how excited the uh, players are out there on the uh, ground there he is the man who's going to keep the ball deservedly so young man Luke Galvesh scored the four goals that divide the team at 90 minutes and you can see all of those players out there Osby going up to uh, congratulate the opposite number all of those that uh, players know each other pretty well Into the back there's the city the United side and uh, as the uh, City side walk away Sydney United very happy and the man with the ball in the middle Phil. Yeah interesting to uh, to see the Sydney United goalkeeper coach Tony Pisano went to single out Matthew Cox for, for a special hug behind the uh, the huddle just before and he really was one of the uh, one of the heroes of that performance today although the goals went in at the other end Cox was a tower of strength at the back and he gave all these players plenty of confidence. Exactly and I think uh, that save as you mentioned earlier on in the first half just after 
after the uh, Sydney United side had taken the lead. He pulled off a great one-handed save, and that actually could have been the turning point in the game that Blacktown realised they have to lift themselves another 100% to get anything out of that defence. That's right. When you see a save of that quality, you do think, crikey, how on earth are we going to get past this kid? And uh, and that's uh, it. That does have Sydney United. On behalf of Soccer New South Wales, we congratulate both teams, we thank you all for your support, and we hope to see you all back in 2007 doing it even bigger and better. Good evening everyone. Our thanks there to uh, Tony Peters for handling all of the uh, presentation. And uh, Phil Moss is still with me, and uh, Phil, a very excited side to get their hands on that trophy. There's no greater feeling in football, is there? Uh, Joey Vrikic has waited a long time to get his hands on a trophy like that. They'll celebrate long and hard into the night. One of the things, of course, that they will be doing in the next 24, 48 hours, or maybe for the next 12 months, is taking a look back at our tape of the uh, game itself, and some good highlights for those guys to Remember. I really think they'll pinch themselves when they do sit down when the celebrations are over they'll sit down have a look at the video and, and they will pinch themselves it's not often that you dominate a grand final the way they dominate it and and it shows on the scoreboard as well exactly and you know it was a team performance because they were very very strong at the back they controlled the midfield and then of course they had that uh, 20 year old up front who That's couldn't right. do anything couldn't do anything wrong on a day and Glavash wouldn't have been able to score those goals if the service wasn't right so it's a team game they've all done their jobs today and uh, Glavash has put the finishing touches on all right let's take